Hey guys, it is Faith. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, I am finally giving you guys my Notion tour. I talk about Notion all the time on my channel, and if you're not familiar with what Notion is, it's basically a productivity app where you can organize your finances, your agenda for the day, the week, the month, and a bunch of other fun little things. And I get to show you guys what is on my Notion page. I also am going to create a exact template of my Notion so you guys can use if you guys are new to Notion or just wanna use some of the pages that I have. So that will be linked down below. I will say I took some people's templates that I saw from YouTube and then just kind of combined it all um, to make my own Notion template so not all of the stuff is completely original. But I hope you guys enjoy watching and without further ado, let's get right on into the Notion tour. Welcome to my Notion page. This specifically is what I call my home page. It has all of my different pages in one spot. So here's a little overview of all of the different ones we're gonna go through. I have my pages categorized from daily, work, personal, miscellaneous. I will link all the different widgets that I use down in the description below. There's a couple of them that I can't really decipher which one is which. So this one is the weather. This is like a five day forecast highs and lows, overall weather info. And then I have a other widget for daily quotes. So this one is you have three choices in life, give in, give up, or give it your all, which I thought was really cool. And then you can refresh these anytime you want to switch it up, but I like that quote, so it's just staying there. Down below, I have three photos, and I got these photos from Pinterest, but yes, so starting out with daily, we're gonna go into daily routines. Now, this is like super, super simple. I just have my morning routine, my night routine, and then the habits I wanna work on. I don't really use this page a lot because I kind of know my morning routine already. This is like the fun about Notion. You just write everything down. So I do have my detailed morning and night routine. I also have a YouTube video of my routine videos. So if you wanna watch those, those are on my channel. But it's really good for when I'm not in my routine so much and I wanna get back to it. I already have a routine set in stone that I can just go ahead and follow. So that's amazing. And then I have my weekly agenda. So I use this one the absolute most. I use it every single day. Basically the layout that I do for this is I have a category for must do's and hourly schedule that is planned out for every single day. So the must do's is like maybe three or four tasks that I really want to get done for the day like no questions asked and then the hourly schedule I'll kind of write out knowing what my day is gonna look like when I'm gonna be doing those must do's and when I'm gonna be taking breaks in my day and what work I'm gonna be working on when like just more of a detailed look of my day so I just use this a lot super super simple scrolling down I also have some columns of things to remember in the next month, things to remember during the week, um, things to do if I have time. So they're not like top priority projects, but when I get around to it, then I'll do it. I just have the typical update my content calendar, edit Instagram reels, just some things I gotta keep in mind. And then the remember this is just things to remember for like the next week. Next month is mostly cancel certain subscriptions or um, delay certain subscriptions because I always tend to forget. So the one I have right now is cancel my Nintendo membership because I'm not on Animal Crossing so much right now. So I don't want to pay another $20 for another year because last year I totally forgot to do that. So then I have this page called the Workout Hub. This is where I have all of my favorite workouts. So I'll include this in the template in case you guys want to use them, but they're mostly from Pinterest or YouTube. There's some days where I want to follow along a workout or some days where I want to get inspiration from Pinterest, piece a little workout together, and then just get it done. I got like a quick little warm up, lower body strength, Pilates. I love my Pilates. And then a HIIT workout. So a little bit of everything in this page. And my goal has been working out for three times a week. And so far it's been going pretty good. It's really easy to just choose workouts on the fly. The next thing I have is the five minute journal. Now I created this page before I had the physical five minute journal. Um, so I use this now more than the digital, but I'll include the sample template for the five minute journal in case you want a digital size version or you want to use the five minute journal, but don't have one. There's a template. So it has the exact 
um, questions and prompts as a five minute journal does. It just doesn't have like the daily quotes, but you could definitely like add in a widget and just refresh it every day. Next up is my personal brand. So I also use this page a lot. Now this page has a lot of other little subcategories in it. Um, this is what I use for like overall like YouTube, Instagram, like my personal brand on social media. So things that I have on here is my content planner. And here I have like a huge calendar of video ideas, collab concepts, um, when I need to post certain content. So it just really helps like have So the power's out. <laughs> we'll be right back. And we're back. So like I was saying, this is a place where I keep track of all my content and when things you get posted and filmed. So the calendar helps a lot with that. I also have um, some video ideas on the side. It became too much, so I actually do have a separate page for that now. But this is the overall look of what kind of content I'm gonna be posting on a weekly basis, sometimes even daily basis, um, on a month's glance. So like I was saying earlier, I do have a separate page for my video ideas list now. So I have them categorized in lifestyle, beauty, and fashion. And this is mostly for YouTube because I do have my Instagram Reels and my TikToks in a whole separate page. And that's under Reels Ideas. And that's where I organize what videos are gonna be posted on TikTok and Reels and videos I need to film and post because I have a whole backlog of those kind of videos. Another page I have that I haven't really started filling out yet is the affiliate bank. So any product that I link in my description or any of my social medias, they are affiliate links, which means if you purchase using that link, then I get a small commission um, off of that purchase. So I wanted to make all of my affiliate links in one page. So if I need to get a link from something really fast, I can just go to this page. I have like nothing on here, so that's gonna be a work in progress later on, but that's one of the pages I have. Another page I have is a description template. Sometimes YouTube won't save my upload default, so I just put my YouTube description in here. So now for the Instagram category, I have my Reels ideas. Next one I have is called Collab Concepts, but I have a lot of different sub pages and if I have a collab coming up I will create a separate page just for that so I can know what socials I need to be posting on the required um, copies concept for the photos or the videos and then what I need to include in the description or wherever I need to be including things in because a lot of times brands will have certain um, requirements for a post so a lot of the times it's like don't use big logos or any other logos. Um, have a clean background, nice lighting. So just those little things like that that I gotta remember, I put those in these little sub pages. The last place is my hashtag bank. Now I have a whole bank of hashtags for my Instagram. It's a prominent way that I grow on Instagram. So um, I have it in categories every day, fashion, seasonal, mood board, and for reels. Um, so this is a good place where I can just copy and paste different hashtags for my Instagram posts. So then I can then copy and paste it on my Instagram posts, if that makes sense. It's just a good place to go to, to store new hashtags I wanna use or hashtags that I know will work well and a place where I can copy and paste those onto my Instagram posts. Now the last place I have is my DM and email template. Now I'm gonna keep this blank in the real template that I'm gonna link below for you guys, but it basically is a template that I use to email different brands and DM them as well. And then I have a sub page in here for um, a whole table of brands that I want to collab with. So I'll have like their username, what kind of products they sell, is it like hair, is it fashion, skincare, and then the actual email address or another way to contact them, and then like specific notes that I wanna make. A lot of the times, if it's a brand I really, really wanna work with, I will write in the notes tab what I want to make sure I include in my email. Okay, so now that we're done with the personal brand, so we're gonna go into the client work tab, but. I'm gonna blur a lot of this out because they're current clients I'm working on, but it's basically a page where I keep other sub pages of client work, analytics, 
Um, if it's a new client, it will be deliverables I will be making to that client. Just a lot of like specific things that I'm not going to show on YouTube because there's like prices and analytics and um, identity and all that. So I'm not going to show that, but that's where the client work is. Now I do have another page called Managed by Faith and that's like my social media management name, I guess. It's not an official business yet since I'm a freelancer, but I'm going to be moving the client work page into the Managed by Faith page. That's just a work in progress. That's why it says coming soon. So the next page I have is my 2022 vision board. So in here I have my vision board that I made earlier this year. And then I have different categories of goals that I wanna achieve in 2022. So I have some for self, lifestyle, career, money, um, creativity and hobby and friends. So I have a few little goals here and there. And I do like looking at this every once in a while. There's a couple that I'm like, I'm so close to like actually making that goal. So it's really cool to like look back and see um, what goals you set for yourself and how they're working out now. Even though it's only February, it's still pretty cool to look at. This one is called Monthly Reflection. So I actually got this from another person's template not 100% sure whose template it was. I use actually multiple templates I found on YouTube and just kind of mushed them together um, to make as my own template. Um, but this one is a monthly reflection, you know, one word to describe this month, memorable moments, what I learned, what I want to improve on. I have not done one for January yet and it is almost mid-February, so I definitely want to do this at the end of this month um, and then kind of continue this as like a monthly tradition. Next is my finances. I'm going to blur pretty much everything of this out, um, but I will leave like a blank template down below in case you guys want this for yourselves, but um, I basically have all of my earnings that I made that month and then business expenses, just so I can calculate like how much I'm making in a month, how much of what I'm spending is going towards the business aspect of things. I really wanna work on keeping track of my finances. So this is just a good spot for me to like actually visualize this and this is gonna be good for when tax season next year comes because I won't spend so much time going through all my receipts and my earnings and stuff and canceling everything out. It's just all in one page. But the next one I have is random emojis and symbols. I definitely took this one from another person's template. Again, not sure who, um, but there's like different emoji combinations, aesthetic symbols, a lot of different symbols. I did not know there was all of these. And then emoticons, just random little ones, and that's pretty much it. Just something fun to keep if I want to have like a cute caption or add something cute to a text, I can just go to this. Now, last but not least, I have my random notes. So I do have some of the templates I use from other people's notions to use my notion, as well as the widgets that I use. So again, I will link all of this down below. I also have like a packing list because sometimes when I'm traveling to Oak Harbor, I forget a lot of things. So I created a list of things that I always need to bring every single time on a trip, just so I don't forget. And that is my whole Notion world. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Comment below if you want more productivity style videos like this. I think this is a cool switch up from like the beauty and fashion stuff. I definitely want to incorporate more productivity videos on the channel and vlogs. So if you want to see more of that, let me know. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video really soon. Bye.